Hi, thanks for joining me. So today it's Lynette here and I swithered about doing this video or not. Um, I, it's my kind of makeup revolution palette collection and it's actually an edited down collection and I know from looking through my collection that there's a lot of things I can't find as well. So <laughs> yeah, there is some of it missing, but in general, this is the kind of palettes that I've got. Um, I did go through a stage where I bought as much of it as I could and then I stopped. And then recently I've bought about three or four new palettes, maybe six, seven. Um, but what I think I really need to do is start working my way through the palettes before I kind of add to them. I do have a tendency to swatch the palettes or just sometimes buy them and shove them in a drawer. So a lot of these palettes have not been used or they've only been swatched or they've been used once, if you're lucky. But that is something that I need to kind of deal with. So I do tend to go from one obsession to the next. Um, holiday clothes was one for a while. Um, cookbooks, it had hundreds. Well, I've thinned them down to the ones that I actually want and the ones that I use. Probably still got too many, but I've done a great job. So the next step is kind of, I have given a lot of these away as well. Um, one of my friends, her daughter was doing um, beauty at college. So I gave her various different palettes as well and they have gone in good use. So anyway, right, uh, that's the excuses over and done with, right? Now into the palettes. So I'm probably going to go like oldest first, right? I think, I don't know, we'll see. So I've got some in boxes, some are packed away, um, some are in a bag, some were under the bed, so they were just everywhere. Um, and my friend was really kind and she kept a whole load in her garage for me until I was like, I really need to bring them back and get some ownership. Just for until I moved, that I didn't want them all getting broken in, in, the, um, in the move. Oh, I've got... There's a couple in my drawer, in the bedroom. The Emily wants, um, and there's another one. So those are missing. So the first one I've got is the Revolution Carmi, and it's the Kiss of Death. It's not the new one. I actually got the new one from my friend Jo, and she loved it. I think that was blue packaging. Um, jo can keep me right. I've just done my nails, and I'm gonna ruin them all opening this. So this, has not been touched. There's actually a nice palette in terms of the colours. Um, they're not colours that I would use every day, but they're colours that I would use if I was creating a look or maybe use kind of one or two colours on their own. And it's also got those two large highlighters as well, which I think is really nice to come in a palette. And Carmi is fantastic. Um, as I say, I didn't get the new palette, but um, I really need to have a wee kind of look and see what I can do with this one. It's also got the mirror. Um, which is good, but the shade names have long been lost on that little slip of plastic somewhere. <laughs> I'm glad some of the palettes now have the names in them. So, oh, this is the Revolution by Petra, and it's um, a beautiful palette. I actually sent one on to Lisa as well, but I had dropped it. So I had two of these palettes, but I dropped it, um, so Steve had taped it all up, but Lynn, not Lynn, Lisa, Lisa's actually used it, um, but look, this is untouched. Just a little bit of kind of powder. But this is gorgeous, look at that. So this kind of reminds me a bit of the colour books that they're doing now and the fact that there's colours on both sides. Um, they're absolutely stunning. But yeah, none of them have been used. And it's one of these palettes that has the names on them, which is good. So there's Bertie Girl, Golden Boy, Banana Milk. Um, what's this say? Yas, Apricot Pie, Copper Penny, My Precious, Coffee First, Snobby, Gossip Canary, Brick Trick, Candy Apple. Well, look at those two colours there. So yeah, none of those have been touched. I think I've stuck my finger in one of them by accident, which is Swift's Praline. Looks like it's got a fingerprint in it, but maybe not. Um, so yeah, that's not actually been touched either. It's a gorgeous palette as well. So this next one is Tammy X Revolution Tropical Paradise Palette. I won this um, from the gorgeous Louise McVeigh, who does amazing looks. If you're not subscribed to her channel, she's another Scottish girl. Um, she's West Coast, 
and um, she does amazing looks with the Makeup Revolution palettes. Oh, oh, no, it's not. It can't be because it's all. Oh, uh, I don't know what's going on. No, it's not. I got the new one from her. This is a different one because look, the colours have got all mixed up and messy. I don't know how that's happened. I wonder if one's kind of broke because it's not it's not been used one one has and the oh, yeah so anyway i'll need to tidy that palette up got a bit of a shock because the one that i won from louise was all the bright colors um and i've not seen that so this is um parental advisory explicit content from i love revolution and it's their pandemonium pigment palette but look at that packaging isn't that fab they do some amazing packaging as well um, and it's got the big mirror in it, but look at this, completely untouched. Um, but I love the, the way that they put the pans in that palette and some really gorgeous colours. And they've actually put them, you know, the colour stories um, beside each other, which is nice. So you can actually just pick, um, right, so I'm just going to use these three colours and that for an accent colour, for example, or pop that colour under my eyes or whatever it was you wanted to do. And the names are on the palette which is nice so this was one of their um they did a whole series of the kind of star signs so this is water and it's pisces cancer and scorpio i think i've got them all and um, this has had a wee bit of usage to them but these colors are just beautiful aren't they so they're pressed and baked eye shadows in this so that's water this is the revolution metallic crush pigment palette Again, this one, it's got the clear lid on it. This one has not been touched, but the names of the colours are on the palette, which is nice. So Juniper, Circus, Vegas, um, some beautiful colours there. So what I might try and do is a palette a month and pick a palette out to use that and do some different looks with it. Um, so this next one is Glitter Eyeshadow Palette from Revolution. It's another one of these with the plastic clear see-through lids, which is quite good actually. But again, it's not being touched, but if I was going to use this, I probably would get the glitter glue, which I think helps. It's a cheeky little Morphe one in there. What's this? I don't know. I've not got a clue what this one is. Oh, wow. This one is like, it just reminds me of Halloween. Um, autumn. I love the colours in here. 15H it is and been used like once it's got the mirror as well and all the names are on that so i know that's not a revolution one so i'll pop that away that's <laughs> slightly distracted there so i'm going to pop these ones out so i do have fire which is aries leo and sagittarius and i am a leo and this has had a lot of use out of it and um, you can actually see some of the pans there quite the metallic -y colors and what does it say about it um pressed and baked as well yep so the fire, which is just coincidental that it's mine. Um, Earth is beautiful. So that's Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. My wee husband, my wee husband is big. My husband is a Virgo. And that's the colours there. It's Mystic by Revolution. Yeah. God knows when they did those palettes. And this is Revolution Reloaded Neutrals 2. Um... I had the dupe to the Urban Decay Cherry, but I gave that away to my friend's daughter who was wanting the cherry palette. And I said, that's a dupe and it's fantastic. So it just reminded me of those colours and that kind of cherry palette. But some of these you can see are really old palettes. So it's a Revolution Ultimate Neutrals Pigment Palette. And um, it's that kind of... Wrecked nail polish, um, phase, balance, standard, robust. So some really lovely kind of everyday colours as well. Um, completely untouched. <laughs> Soph X, gosh, I don't know how old this one is. Face and eyeshadow palette. So it's got the highlighters in it, which is really pretty. So they've got the mattes down one side and the shimmers on the other, um, which is a good idea, actually. So there's three mattes, two highlighters and six shimmers, um, which is really nice. So that was one of the older soft palettes. 
Um, a couple of them, my Too Faced palettes have sneaked in here as well. And this was just supposed to be the Revolution one, so who knows what I will unearth in here. As I say, um, this is kind of probably a lot of my collection is not here. A lot of it has been given away, so it's not as bad as I actually thought it was. I'm quite pleased for that. So this is Revolution Pro Supreme Eyeshadow and Captivate. Now these little colours, these little palettes, it's a bit messy. But um, these are the kind of things you just shove in your kind of makeup bag for every day. And they're cheap as chips. Um, they're nice colours though. This next one is the same, but it's called Bewitch. And it's got a lot kind of, I think it's got maybe one or one matte colour and the rest are all shimmers so I was obviously having a shimmer tastic time <laughs> some of these shimmers are fantastic but I can't imagine where I wore them so this is I Heart Revolution Mermaid and it's beautiful I haven't used this yet um, but look it's got the little kind of mermaid the, the scales on it if I do it kind of that way the colours are beautiful so I really need to use that um, as I say, these are my kind of older ones that I'm going through first. There's a few that I can't see, so. I'm a whole box missing. Maybe that's what it is. I'm a whole box missing as well. Mm. So I'll unbox these and then I'll go and see if I can find the other box because there was three boxes like this. I'm positive there was another, yeah, there was. So this is the, um, they did these um, I Heart Revolution, the, the remind, you know, the Now um, album. So that it's called Now, that's what I call makeup. And this is I Love Revolution, the 80s. Um, which has actually only been used for the kind of pink <laughs> in there. So again, I don't know how long this has been kicking around. Since forever, probably. So this is a Soph Revolution Extra Spice one. I got this a couple of Christmases ago. Um, not touched it. But the colours are absolutely stunning. I didn't actually even swatch those colours when I got it. And I would have got it when I had my channel. I know for sure that one. So the Soph X, the Ultimate Eyeshadows. I think I've got three or four Soph's palettes. Um, yep. This has got the colours on it, on the plastic, so you lose them, you don't know what you're doing. Well, you do know what you're doing, but it's just hard to say to people I'm using this colour, so you tend just to see top row hard along. Um, another Soph X one, and this is Soph's favourites. I have swatched that one, I can see my fingerprints in them, so I must have swatched that in a video back in some time. Um, Oh, so in here, it's the, I think it's the last of that collection. It's the um, Revolution Air. And nope, those colours haven't been used. That looks like it's got like marks in it, but it's got some gold running through it, which is beautiful. And this is, um, yep, Air Sign Aquarius Gemini Libra. That's not Revolution. This is Revolution and it is Reloaded Fundamental. Yeah, one shade has been used in that whole palette. And actually that might just have been me digging my finger in it too when I've opened it. And this is another one of the I Heart Revolution Revolution. The now that's why I call makeup. And that's the naughties. Naughties. Very naughty. This one's had more use. I don't know when I was using the so it's like bright side, new metal, house, alternative rock, R&B and dubstep. So the music. I actually thought dubstep was, <laughs> was a band. So what do they sing? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what do I know about music? I Heart Revolution, the 90s. Now this was my era. The 90s. And this hasn't been used. But it's all techno beat, new rock, hip hop, rock star, boy band, entertainers. They're all absolutely stunning. Done in colours, aren't they? Um, so yeah, I will be digging them out. Lots of looks you could do. So this is the I Heart, the this is Revolution, and it just says eyeshadow palette. 
it's not even got a name on it. There we go. That's how old this one is. So it's got natural, smoky, metallic, and for your cut crease. Um, which is quite nice actually. The different four zones. I did think about swatching the palettes, but I thought this video would end up about 10 hours long. So this is the Emily, um, the Emily edit, and this is the Needs, and it's beautiful, absolutely stunning palette. <laughs> Just happen to love the colour as well. Um, so it, it's actually a face palette as well. Does it say that it's a face palette? It is a face palette as well as an eyeshadow palette because we've got the bronzer, the, the blusher and the highlighter as well as the, the colours. And this is here for your whole kind of whole lid colour as well, which is fantastic. The names are on it and I do like the wee bit of difference in the details in the pans. Um, and look at the packaging pink and gold it's almost like rose gold doesn't it so yeah that needs to come out and i'm sure it is the wants that i also have as well so i'm gonna stop this video and see if i can go and find it but i'll be back i'm back so i'm definitely missing a box somewhere but i did find the emily edit the wants look at this one of my amazing subscribers sent me this um it was in the revolution mystery bag and I was blown away. Um, I did say I was going to try and do a look with it over, was it New Year? But we didn't actually, kind of ended up staying in the house. Um, but that's it there, but I will definitely be doing a look. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's got that massive mirror as well. Um, gorgeous. So what I might do is a swatching video. Um... And I'll look and then maybe have one palette one month <laughs> that way just to even try and use them um this next one is yeah because i'm definitely missing i'm missing a few i'm missing the new tammy one um which i know i won from louise mm, there's a few i'm missing anyway we'll turn up you kind of think to yourself, when you've got a massive collection like this, you wouldn't miss one or two, but you do. <laughs> anyway, this is Flawless One. So it was also part of the the uh, mystery bag and the colours in that are stunning. And I'm not sure if that's, I'm, I'm not sure if that's, if I've got that one, so I won't open it just in case. So here is the um, Revolution Pro HD. This is a massive palette. So it's the Amplified palette and it's got 35 pounds in it. Um, I think all I did there was swatch them in a video, but they're some gorgeous colors. I mean, I've also been lucky to have been sent a lot of palettes as well, um, but I have been pretty good and I do share things with friends with um you know people that i keep in touch with i do buy a lot for people as well and i have passed on a lot of these palettes to friends so it's not just me honestly just and i will probably go through my collection and do that once i've done a look see if anybody wants them that i know so this is a flawless four palette it's covered in my fingerprints and i did this for a look that i did with nat um you go and that pink one that you can see i did gouge my fingernail in that one those are small pans but it's lovely really nice to work oh i nearly dropped the whole thing the flawless four was really nice to work with i got that in an asos box and i did a look with nat mua or nat i think she's changed it to natural or something so this is oh this is a little revolution rose gold ingot highlighter and um, it's not been used, but I love rose gold, so I don't know why. So it's this Bank of Revolution rose gold. Um, I know technically that isn't, but I've popped it in here. So what is this? Chocolate chocolate Elixir Glow. Ha two highlighting powders. Look at these little palettes. Went a bit daft for these, I did. Um, no touch, though comes with a little mirror as well which is nice you know if you don't want to take a mirror away with you you could just make sure you've got that um this is the i heart revolution chocolate rose gold 
look at the packaging. These are dupes. Um, I think they're dupes of some of the Too Faced, but I couldn't tell you what. And these ones come with a little eyeshadow. I think all I did with this one is swatch it on a video. I just, I think I almost could have gone and ordered every single one of these, but I was pulling myself back. And um, this is the Revolution Pro, and it's the Trends Celestial, Regeneration Trends Celestial. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning, these colours in here. Beautiful palette. I have used that. This one here is the Salted Caramel, the Revolution Chocolate Bar series. Um, colours in here again I think I only swatched this for a video um, I got these all from Superdrug I think every now and again they were doing like a 3 for 2 I got sent this from one of my friends it's a dragon heart and um, it's absolutely stunning look at these colours and listen to this hear that clip it's got a magnetic clip fastener this is a Revolution Flawless 4. So I have this twice. I have this twice. Oh, who could have reckoned that might have happened? I've actually had a lot of um a lot of palettes that I end up with buying them twice or getting them twice. I've passed on <laughs> masses of palettes to Lisa's subscription box as well. Um, it ended up costing me a fortune because the post office guy said to me, oh, you would be better splitting it up into bundles under two kilo, but I couldn't wait to get it posted for her. So I did a friend mail and I popped in quite a few um, eyeshadow palettes as well. And I know that she uses them. And this is another one from my lovely friend KD. And it's another I Heart, I Love Revolution, Unicorn Hearts. And um, look at that. They're just beautiful. So, now I've got my ring light fixed. I might do actually more looks. <laughs> my nail polish. This is another I Heart um, Revolution chocolate bar. Look at that chocolate elixir. And it's been swatched. At least I swatched this one. And I probably said, I absolutely love this palette. I'm going to do a look with it. And then shoved it in a drawer. Which is a drawer I put it back in when we moved. So some of these I still have the card for. I don't know why. Anyway. Oh, here it is. The Tammy X Revolution. So this is the one that I won. Um, from Louise. And I'm so glad because I've not had a chance to use it yet. But I want to. In fact, I did a, a, a bright colour collab with a, a lovely YouTuber who has ch changed her name last year, was it? Miss, to Mrs. Howie. Howie. Howie, man. You know, that kind of Mrs. Howie. Um, <laughs> so I think I have to say it like Howie, man. Mrs. Howie, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm terrible for accents. So... I used the, the next palette that I got from Lisa, but this one would have been amazing. Unfortunately, the names aren't on the palette. And um, I sent a dupe that I had for this to my friend Jo. And I don't know if Jo's used that, but I didn't use this. Um, but I will. The good thing is with doing a YouTube channel is you can do a look that you might not go to shops in. You know, like when I do some of them, I think I wouldn't go down the street in this, but I'm doing it for this. Beyond Flawless. These Flawless palettes, ultra eyeshadows, these Flawless palettes are gorgeous. Um, and these are kind of like the colours that I use every single day. So I need to really put them into circulation. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to be using the Tammy X, you know, the tropical palette to go to work. But I would use the, the Flawless ones. Oh, this is beautiful. I think I got this from Laura Ballum. Revolution, fortune favours the brave. This is absolutely stunning, this palette. Um, and again, it's when they were going through this um, this period of doing those little round pans and the brush just fell out. And it's the, it is actually a brush rather than just a little, like, like the other ones, I can't remember the names, but this, 
beautiful palette. I'll show you one of the palettes that Laura definitely sent me. And it is one of my all-time favourite. It's a limited edition one, I think. It was Revolution 1 million. And um, this is it here. And look at this. It is so pretty. So yeah, definitely a look coming up. A look of one palette, one month, what, what have you. So now I'm on to kind of some of my newer palettes here, I think. Oh no, there's a mixture actually. Some that I've just grabbed from under the bed. So this was the I Heart Revolution S'mores. Um, again, I dug my finger in, but not used, not even swatched. Yeah, that's a shame. And the names are on the palette. Yummy, melted, dripping in chocolate, gooey, dessert, campfire, marshmallow. Sounds amazing. S'mores, obviously. S'mores. Um, now, I did a look with this one. And it was a revolution. Beautiful darkness. And um, the colours are gorgeous. And the colours are actually on the palette. I, I swatched them as well when I did the look. But um, the colours are stunning. There we go. And I'm actually... I'm going to send that off to one of my friends who loves the palette. And I think it was, might have been Cami that did a video for that. Or if you go onto their website. This next one <coughs> is one of the kind of older fashion kind of styles. But this is the ones that I've used for years. It's a Revolution Redemption Palette Iconic Smoky. Now, I've got one in my makeup bag that is very similar to this. But it doesn't actually even have a lid anymore. <laughs> so old it is. That is shocking, isn't it? Absolutely shocking. Look at this. Look, look, look. It just honestly. And it comes with a little brush. Mine's has lost its brush long ago and its lid. Colours are just beautiful. Light glow, stain, erupt, silvery, smoke, shadow, haze, exhale, flicker. Oh, honestly. If I had to clear out my collection and keep a few of them, one of these would definitely be in my top kind of 10 um, because they're just so versatile every day. Now, this is similar to the one that's in my makeup bag and it's the Redemption Palette Iconic Elements. Now, when I got this, I first got one in a Secret Santa years ago and um, for years I thought it was Revolution, Rimmel. And then it wasn't until I really kind of started doing... And kind of, I kind of got a bit more into eyeshadows. Um, now this one's not even been opened, so I'm just going to show you through that. But it was kind of similar to this one, but it, it's still in my makeup bag, and it's still one of the palettes that I was using kind of almost every day. Now this is one shame to say I haven't even opened. Chocolate cherry. Um, I'm not going to open that because I might give that away. Um, some of my newest ones that you won't even have seen me do a video for yet. So this is the um, it is the I Heart Revolution and it's sweet and tasty. It's a tasty peach palette. Look at that. It's just I love the packaging. How they change it. Um, they do the avocado one and I've seen um, a gorgeous lady that I follow on Instagram. Um, Cindy and she's done looks with the avocado one which is gorgeous and with this one I think but this palette right I have got a swatching video for this palette because this palette initially I thought is it going to be a dupe for the Too Faced but look at that it is gorgeous I mean the colours are just amazing it's just a summer's day to me in a palette um, but I just want to show you in case you do think it might be a dupe definitely would say it's not. Um, I'll have to put all this away. Put all this away. Because I do have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette here, which is, it's a, do you know what? I've had this for years and it still smells so good. Um, so that's it there. So it's definitely, oh, Barry low is definitely not a dupe for that palette. I'm sure they do have a dupe for this one, but that ain't it. So yeah, just I'll show you again. It's just like sorry to me, this is a beautiful summer sunset. It's gorgeous. 
Honestly, I don't even know if I could get away wearing any of the, half the, most of the colours. But I will have that palette just to look at. It is that pretty. Now, I did a look with this Revolution um, pet shop. The bunny, the pink bunny. Did it have a name? Blossom. Look at that packaging. And then... Um, there was a mixture of, there was four mattes and four shimmers and they annoyed me because they weren't on each side. So they should have been four on one and four on the other, but there wasn't. So this might make its way to Freya, although it would sit quite cutely on my dressing table, which at the moment is my son's desk. And he keeps moaning at me because he has to move everything. And he told me I need to do something with my collection. <laughs> you need to do something. You need to do something, mum. Ah, you're right. So this is one of my new ones and I absolutely love it. I've not used it yet. I have swatched it. It's new, neutral, blush to palette. Look at the packaging. Listen to that magnetic clasp and look at the colours. Absolutely stunning. So, yep, I will do a look. I might pick it for my palette of the month. Um... I could probably do a palette a week, but I'm terrible. Like, if I'm working from home, I'm going to do my makeup the days I've got a video call. Um, and most of the times I'm going to be in my pyjamas like everybody else. This is one of my brand new palettes, which I absolutely love. You'll have seen this video, hopefully. It's Revolution Forever Flawless Utopia. Again, they change their packaging all the time. It's a fantastic brand. I'll just give you a quick swizz of that one. Um... I swatched that. I haven't used it yet. This is the Revolution Forever Flawless Allure. Again, I've only swatched that, but it's stunning. Stunning. And it's actually got a little bit, well, the plastic actually, it's not got names, oh, it has got names, but the plastic actually can hook onto the, the mirror. Um, now, I've done a look with this Revolution. The chilled with canvas sativa and it is absolutely stunning I love it I love it love it one of my favorite palettes of all time and this one I got sent from my amazing friend Tracy and it's ice now Laura Ballum is going to do a dupe video for us between this and the um, Jeffree Star one but look at this palette I mean I don't care if it's a dupe or not it is stunning and actually I think Tracy said it was I'm sure Tracy said it was really similar, if not practically identical, to the Jeffree Star one. Now, I can't wait until they dupe the Blue Blood. No, Bloodlust, whatever the purple one's called. Because I haven't even used it yet. It sat in my cupboard, unused. So I might need to dig it out. Actually, I am going to dig it out because Tracy has said to me, let's do a night look and a day look. Now, Tracy doesn't have a channel. But she's going to do the pictures and send them in so I can insert them into my videos. So, that is, that is my thinned down collection. Um, I think I did very well to thin it down because there's some, I, I'm, I'm terrible. Like, if they're going to a friend or they're going to somebody that I know will use them, I'll happily give them away. But there's always that fear that somebody might just shove them in a drawer or not use them and when I send things to Jo, she's been amazing. She does looks with them. She sends them back to me. Um, she's an absolute star. Same with Lisa and my friend's daughter. Um, she was using them for college and stuff. Um, so I did see them. And a lot of people are funny about taking things that even if you've just swatched it, but, you know, most folk that I know aren't really bothered. Um, so I probably... I can't give any more to my sister because... She just says she won't encourage me anymore and I've given her so much that she's just like, right, stop it. And same with Freya, she's like, can you just stop it? <laughs> Freya is like five and she's got a massive collection, thanks to Annie Lynette. Um, but she will love that bunny one, I can assure you, she will love that one. Um, and she prefers the real makeup to the fake one. I did a advent calendar for my sister last year, I used my glossy box and Freya said, next year... I want one like that, so I've got to make one for her. So my friend has given me her John Lewis um, advent calendar box and I've got mine. So I'm going to do one for her and one for Freya and one for Kirsty. Um, but I have to make Freya's kind of similar, so I better start saving up. <laughs> anyway.
Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. It's a longer video than I had intended, but there is quite a lot here, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye, guys.